you know, they call Hollywood's biggest night, and there it was a big night last night. I wonder, is there anyone in the audience who doesn't know what happened last night at the Oscars? <laughs> if you're one of the few who didn't see uh, what happened across the street from us at the Dolby Theater last night, what happened was this. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> Nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Wow, indeed. The old hitch slap. Is, it's now a part of our lives forever. We will never stop talking about this. It was so shocking. The only thing I can really compare it to is when Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ears. <laughs> Even Kanye was like, you went on stage and did what an award show? <laughs> And the weirdest part was that initially Will Smith laughed at that joke. Can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> but then he must have looked over and noticed that Jada was not amused. He's like, uh oh, I better do something. And boy, did he do something. I mean, in one stunning moment, the night went from Oscars, so what, to Oscars, so well, what? <laughs> No one could have predicted the most controversial movie of 2022 would be G.I. Jane, but it was. <laughs> this was the Hollywood version of your drunk uncle starting a fight, ruining the wedding, and then standing up and giving a long toast to the bride and groom. I was, I was watching, uh, like most people at home, and I said to my wife, well, they did a really good job with that punch. It looks so real. And she's like, yeah, they did. About three seconds later, we realized it was because it was real. Which is a shame, because we'd already written about a page and a half of cleavage jokes, and those won't be used. But Chris Rock, um, he handled it about as well as you could possibly handle being slapped on stage at the Oscars. He didn't even flinch when Will slapped him. I would have been crying so hard. I would have... <laughs> After the slap, Will uh, cursed him out. Chris said, oh, wow, Will Smith just smacked the S out of me. And Will yelled from the seat, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Chris said something like, oh, well, that was the greatest moment in the history of television, and then went right into introducing Best Documentary, as if he hadn't just been slapped <laughs> by the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. As... <laughs> and by the way, no one did anything. A whole room full of people, no one lifted a finger. Spider-Man was there. <laughs> Aquaman was there. Catwoman, all sitting on their hands. No one helped Chris Rock. The backstory, of, the backstory we know, anyway, is when Chris Rock hosted the Oscars in 2016, this is the Oscars So White year. Will Smith wasn't nominated, so his wife, Jada, decided to boycott the show. And Chris Rock, who was hosting the show, made some jokes about it. He said Jada boycotting the Oscars is like him boycotting Rihanna's panties, which I'm sure she didn't like. <laughs> and then this joke, um, G.I. Jane, which seemed pretty mild, but what I assume Chris Rock didn't know is that the reason Jada has a shaved head is because she has a medical condition called alopecia that causes people to lose their hair, and she probably thought he was making fun of that, and so Will felt he had to defend his wife, and now I'm a little bummed because I've only now hosted the second craziest Oscars of all time. <laughs> I only had like three years to enjoy that. A lot of my friends have been texting me asking what I would have done if I'd been on stage when I would have run, is what I would have done. <laughs> Second I saw Will Smith get up out of his seat, I'd have been halfway to the Wetzel's Pretzels, <laughs> enjoying the samples in front of the store. The mood in the room was immediately ruined. It was very uncomfortable. Questlove won Best Documentary, but his moment was ruined. And then, uh, then the artist known as Diddy took the stage. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. <laughs> Okay, Will and Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party. Which was nice, uh, except he was introducing a tribute to The Godfather, which is not the family you wanna settle it like at the gold <laughs> party. So they do The Godfather thing, and everybody's like, A, why is Diddy introducing The Godfather? And B, what is Will gonna say if he wins Best Actor? And of course, he did win Best Actor. Uh, salting Chris Rock and then winning the Oscar, it's like storming out of the house after breaking up with your girlfriend, then coming back in because you forgot your keys, you know? <laughs> According to one source, the Academy seriously discussed having Will Smith removed from the theater, but instead, uh, they decided to let him give the longest best actor speech in history. 
<laughs> Which, of course, it was the longest best actor speech in history. They weren't gonna play him off. You'd beat the crap out of everybody in the band. <laughs> the speech was a, a weird mix of what Will planned to say and what he had to say, and it was historic in that it was the first acceptance speech in which the winner apologized to the Academy before he thanked them. Um... I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um... I like to apologize to everyone except the guy I slapped in the face is really what the speech was, but... He did, to his credit, he did apologize to Chris tonight on Instagram. Obviously, Chris Rock did not deserve to be slapped in the face for a joke. Will's point of view is he was defending his wife, and that's a tough position to be in because it's damned if you do, Ted Cruz if you don't. <laughs> and he probably wishes he had one of those men in black memory erasers right now. You know, when they gave out the wrong Oscar for Best Picture to La La Land, I was on stage and I wasn't sure what to do. But Denzel Washington was in the front and he told me, give the, the microphone to Barry Jenkins, the director, which I did. And once again, in a time of trouble, there was the equalizer. In this business, you gotta be able to have people disrespecting you. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. That's how you talk after two years of Shakespeare. You start saying, <laughs> imagine having that at the tip of your tongue. At your highest moment, that's when the devil comes for you. Woody Harrelson was like, no! <laughs> So, Will then ended his speech by saying he hopes the Academy welcomes him back, and if they don't, he'll be waiting for them in the parking lot. <laughs> the Academy announced today they're doing a formal review of the incident. A spokesperson for the LAPD put out a statement immediately following the altercation, said, we don't have any details about the incident. As soon as we do, we will make them available to the public. <laughs> I think we have all the details. <laughs> the LAPD is watching CBS, NCIS was on last night, but. What a crazy night. Maybe they should do this at every award show. Still to come, the Grammy for Record of the Year, and who will do a leap of physically assault? Bruno Mars or Olivia Rodrigo? Find out next on the 64th Annual Grammy Award. After the show, uh, a somber Will and Jada went home to reflect and, uh, oh, no, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> he went to a party where he got very jiggy with it. Really, really jiggy. Chris Rock went to a party after the show, too. I don't know, I wonder how this all shakes out. Will released a heartfelt apology a little while ago. He wrote, violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job. Joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. I'd like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line, I was wrong. I'm embarrassed that my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There's no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. He went on to apologize to the Williams family, the Academy, and wrote, I am a work in progress, sincerely will. That's good, I'm glad he did that. I mean, to me, there's only one more step to make this right, and uh, that's the Comedy Central roast of Will Smith, hosted by Chris Rock. Right? I mean... I hope, I hope they at least get together and have a red table talk or something, because it's a bummer. These are all very kind people, and also it took focus away from the hosts, Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall, who worked hard on the show and were very funny during the show. And it also... It also um, took focus away from Guillermo, who was at the red carpet yeah. last night. Yeah. Every year we send Guillermo to the red carpet, and uh, boy, you really, this was a good year for you, huh? Yeah, it was. It Jimmy. was like people had been pent up waiting to see you again. Everybody was so happy, Jimmy. Everybody was very happy yes. before the show on the red carpet with Guillermo. <laughs> Timothy Shirley, Timothy Shirley, Timothy Shirley. Rami, hey, one question, Rami. Lupita, look, Lupita, we match. Look, how are you? Come, can I have one question? Yeah, come here. I, one question, come on, Lupita. Billy, Billy, how are you? How are you? I got one question for you. One, one, only one. 
Oh, they got to do light with Kelly. <laughs> Everyone's blowing me off tonight. It's hard this year at the Oscars. Nicole! Nicole, Nicole how are you? Hi, how you doing? Good. Good, you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hold on, hold on. Hold yes, on. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, you're too hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> hey, Will. Hey, hey. Tell Jimmy we love him too. Guess what I'm wearing? What are you wearing? I'm wearing it's Pangs. It's Pangs. <laughs> can, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you sign my vaccine card right here? <laughs> I'm getting autograph. Wait, where's my or his stir? There you go. It's right there. I do tell you, that's the first time anybody's asked me to sign their vaccine card. So I'm the first one. You are the first. Listen, I want to ask a question from the sombrero. Awkward questions, okay? An awkward question. Yeah. I would expect nothing less. All right. Want to say hello to the person that you lost your virginity to? Yes, I do. do I don't have to say them my name, do I? Only if you want to. I don't know. They know who they are. Oh, okay. And guess who's sorry now? I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you smell like? Soup. Soup? I think I smell like what soup. What kind of soup like? Like, like chicken noodle soup. I'll give you my Spanx after the show. You'll All right. Be, you'll understand it. All right. I got a question for you. This is from the sombrero aqua question. And read it to the camera. If there was. Another one. Have you put it? Another one. Sorry. Sorry. All right. You don't know how to read. <laughs> DJ Kali doesn't know how to read. Can you do any celebrity impressions? Um, Let's see it. This is my Sam Jackson. OK. Um, who the f put these mother snakes on this mother plane? Wow, that was perfect. That was good. Yeah. If there was a porno version of your movie, what would it be called? The movie is called King Richard, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's fantastic. laughs> I don't get the joke. <laughs> he say, what to say hello to the person that you lost your virginity to? Lost my virginity to? Yeah. Long dead. <laughs> Huh? Well, I'm glad I chose the coat I chose. It, we would look like twins. You're in the French Dispatch, right? In that movie? Do you like French toast? Oh, yeah, are you kidding? It's a great story. You know the story of French toast? No. Well, there was we a little. Did we have time for this? Yeah. Anyway, there was a little kid, and his father said, You're getting nothing but bread and water. But the people, like the housemaids in the house, decided, or stale bread and water. So they decided what they do is they would bathe the, sta the stale toast in milk and eggs and sugar and cinnamon, and they made him French toast, and that's where it came from. Oh, wow. Listen, you just won the Guillermo Award. Right there. Yeah, right there, look. Bill is... Last year, I learned the sign of fart. Can you teach me a new, like, you know, hold all this? Get them out and catch it. It's like, it's like at home. Yeah, there you, you go. Catch it. And then put it on your face. This year I learned the what? The face. face. So you go like this, and then you drop it, you catch it, and then you go like this. No? Yeah, Hold on, let me show you something. So you have to eat it, actually. You gotta eat it. I'm doing a movie about myself. You are? Okay. Yeah. So I'm the writer, producer, director. Okay. And I want you to audition for my movie. Okay. Action. Oh, Guillermo. That was amazing. You have ruined sex with me. You have ruined sex with anyone else for me. You know what's really great about this line? Yeah. I'm queer. You're welcome. All right. You're going to play my father. I'm going to play your father? Yeah. Guillermo, this is ridiculous. OK. Guillermo, don't run into that burning orphanage. It's too dangerous. And you've already saved so many of them. Wow. That was perfect. I'm not drunk. The world is drunk. Wow. What? All right, I'll, I'll hold it. It's not just a mustache. It's my identity. It's who I am. It's my superpower. Without it, I am nothing. Is that good? Wow, that's, that's, good. Good. that's very good. That's very good. This is the worst script I've ever read. All right. Good, good job. job. Thank you. Guillermo, 
As your doctor, it's my responsibility to tell you, you have a medically perfect penis. Wow, that was amazing. But it smells funny. <laughs> Wait, did you see that too? No, no, I had a dad, because you know, I like to improv a little bit, but oh. I always throw something in. Can you improvise a kiss now? You want a kiss? Yeah. OK, come here. This is the Guillermo. Oh, Look. thank you. Most sexy. Thank you. I'm oh. keeping this. I'm putting it on my trophy case with all you the best You promise? Macho. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Denzel! 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 Denzel, come on! Denzel me again. No? Oh, Denzel blow me up again. <laughs> Good, the first thing I say that. All right, I'm so excited because of Tiffany Haddish. All right, I did not say that this sound me. I say this sound blow me off. I think this is the best record forever. Wow, beautifully done again, Gary. Thank you, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.